Now, next team up is Wales. So Warren Gatlin's return is going to be the big headline for them. Captain is uh, Ken Owens. So real stalwart there. World ranking ninth. Last year, they finished fifth. The last six, uh, sorry, five Six Nations, they finished second winners, fifth winners, and then fifth. So going by uh, that pattern, they should be winners this year. The odds are 12 to 1. To start out home to Ireland, that's like, for me as an Ireland fan, that's the, the game I'm dreading because Gatland at home against Ireland, um, he, he's just going to pick, you know, find something, pick something out of the way we play and, you know, deliver that, that win that everybody's looking for from Wales. And then Ireland's like six nations suddenly could be over in the first couple of rounds if they lose to France as well. So that that's, Big trepidation for me, um, but a big G up for, for Wales because, like, it's the homecoming of Gatland there. Then they're away to Scotland, home to England, and then away days at Italy and France to finish as well for them. So, you know, they could really, like those, those first couple of rounds, if they pick up a couple of wins there, suddenly they're in the mix for the tournament. That England game becomes a, a massive game for them then. And then after that then well if you're still in the mix after that and you know anything can happen then you know the players will believe now that Gatland is back there that it's possible for them to win this tournament whereas under Pivac I'm not sure you know people would obviously talk about um, having the belief but not sure whether they really would have it into the squad then so um here's your forwards so we got the likes of, um, you know, stalwarts there, like Wynne Jones is there. Um, Alan Wynne Jones also, like, um, brought back into the squad. Hasn't been, like, you know, he does produce for Wales, but he hasn't really been producing that great performance for, for Ospreys, I have to say. Got Toby Faletau, uh moved to Cardiff this year. That guy has been out of this world. Uh, for them, so e- expecting more great things from him. Uh, Tipperick for Ospreys is coming into decent form as well. Then, you know, you've got a lot of players there, you know, on kind of like one to 10 caps who could come in and, you know, get themselves in the frame for the Rugby World Cup as well. You've got the likes of, um, Sorry, uh, Reese Davies from Ospreys um, could make his his Wales debut here. Teddy Williams as well, another one uh, possibly on debut and into the backs. Then you know you've got um, kind of a scrum half, like you know you got Tomas Williams, um, Reese Webb there as well. Kind of going to be interesting to see how those two go in terms of who's going to be the starting nine for them. Um, Dan Bigger is going to be a big player for them because I think if you take him out of the team, the other 10s, they still have a lot to prove at, at this level. We ha- then have um, the likes of Kieran Williams and Mason Grady looking for possible debuts. Rio Dyer, who's, you know, great form for the Dragons, got him that call up in the autumn, could also, if he gets on, you know, he's the kind of guy that could really set the tournament to light. But then you have the likes of Josh Adams is back in form. George North um, is playing some decent rugby. Reese Samet, you know, he's always dangerous with his pace. Liam Williams as well, great stepper there. Lee Halfpenny is back too. It's almost like, you know, Gatlin's back and we're turning back the clock with a lot of the squad as well. But don't forget that there are those younger players in behind them as well that can can add to that too. In terms of like where the team are, like obviously the end of the PVAC year wasn't great for them. They were very kind of hit and miss with their performances and felt like, you know, once they kind of 
got behind. It was hard for them to to work their way back into games. But Gatland will instill that belief in them. I expect them to be much harder to beat now with him there. Um, we also have like the the thing of um, Steve Phillips had to step down because there's a big furor in the WRU about you know um, things like um, sexism and um, you know a lot of like people on the board have said like that they're not getting listened to in terms of the way that the union has to modernize and uh, things that have happened in the past and kind of like it seems like a big old boys club in there where, you know, people will bring up things that someone has done, like uh, there was talk of, um, you know, very inappropriate language being used towards um, women on the board and within the organization as well. And then the person not being properly punished and it kind of, you know, trying to sweep under the rug. He's finally stepped down, but it seems like there is a lot of work to do to sort it out. They're going to hope that, you know, the team performs on the field and kind of uh, deflects the attention away from that kind of stuff. So I'm glad that he, he you know, the, they really ramped up the pressure on him this year and they got him out, or this week, sorry, uh, and last week and got him out before the Six Nations kicked off because it could have been very easy for them, you know, beat Ireland and then everybody forgets about what's going on off the pitch. Um, but luckily he's gone. But yeah, they need to do a lot um, to sort them out. In terms of the, the regions then, like the regions in the URC haven't been in the best of form, like like Cardiff, um are the highest placed team, but like you've got the, the likes of um, the Scarlets, Ospreys, and Dragons all down towards the end of the table. Dragons at least have been, you know, a bit kind of harder to beat this year than they, they used to be easy points in previous years, but they've hardened up a little bit. But, um, you know, one thing that Gatland and Wales are able to do is to get their players to perform well above what they do for the your for their uh, teams in the URC. So expecting them in this tournament to be, you know, a stumbling block for a lot of the favorite teams. Mm-hmm.